In this lesson, we want to take you through the process of working a customer in Retention Center. When looking at your renewal list each day, the first thing you want to do is filter down and take care of the easiest customers first. These are customers that require little action and can typically be closed out and notated from Retention Center immediately. Click the Risk column to bring the low-risk accounts to the top. From the gray column to the left, you have an assortment of filters to use. This can make it easier to find and close out similar low-risk profiles. For example, you could search for all low-risk monoline auto customers and take care of them all at once. You can easily take care of low-risk customers by selecting all of their checkboxes. Then click the Actions button to add a note. This note will apply to each selected account. You also have the option to close the insured from the list after adding the note. Additionally, you can use the same actions button again to send an email campaign and close out all the customers from Retention Center at once. We'll show you exactly how to do this a bit later in the lesson. You can also use the search bar to find a specific customer if needed. After you take care of low-risk customers, you will need to spend a little more time with those marked as high-risk. Here's where you will enter step 1 of the Retention Center workflow. Analyzing the Renewal Offer Start by using the Days column along with the Risk and Change percentage to identify which customers should be prioritized. Then expand that customer and evaluate their Change, Premium, Change Reasons and Difference report. When in Expanded View, you can see that the Change Premium and Premium fields have values along with an Increase or Decrease indicator. So why did the Premium change? This is something you want to understand before reaching out to your customer. The first place to look is the Change Reasons field. This area gives a quick overview of the major reasons the premium changed between the current term and the renewal. To see a more in-depth comparison between the two policies, click the Difference Report. The renewal will be on the left showing any differences in yellow, removals in red, and additions in green. This report should help you to speed up the process of deciding whether or not it makes sense to remarket your customer. Once you are done taking a look at it, close the window. At this point, create a note or task for the customer by selecting their checkbox. And then the Actions button to add note or task. Create a note if the customer's renewal is competitive, documenting that it was reviewed. Create a task if the customer's renewal is not competitive and you need to run some more quotes. This will make sure you don't forget to follow up with this customer. Now that you have analyzed the renewal and decided whether or not remarketing is a good option, you can proceed to step 2 of the process. Communicate. In this step, we'll utilize the Retention Center specific email templates to reach out to your customers. You can do this by selecting them then click Actions. And then send email campaign. In the drop-down, you can select from the EasyLinks Agency Insights templates. These are the Retention Center templates. You can see that they are all competitive, except for the one which says Generic Renewal in Progress. After analyzing the renewal in Step 1, if you are unhappy with what the carrier has offered, you would use the In Progress template. This would let your customer know that you are currently reviewing their renewal options to make sure that they are competitively priced. If you feel good about the renewal option, you can choose one of the other templates with competitive in the title. These templates should cover most scenarios such as multi-policy customers, monoline customers you are trying to cross-sell, basic monoline customers and more. Moving past the template selection. Notice the checkbox, Close insureds from list. Checking this box before sending the email campaign is a convenient way to remove the customer from retention center, but only do this if you feel that no further action on that customer is required. As long as you have tasked out any follow-ups for that customer's renewal, then this would be the appropriate time to close them out of the renewal list. Next, let's move over to the expiration list. Any policies that are entered manually that will not be receiving downloads from the carrier need to be handled by you or someone at your agency. You can filter down to manual policies using the filter options to the left. Then you can work through these customers as normal. Lastly, the last tab in Retention Center, the expired list. This list is really just an extension of the previous expiration list and you will treat it in much the same way. When a policy is past its expiration date without a renewal and with no enforced policy on the account, for that particular line of business, then that customer will show up on the expired list. 
you should only close out a customer from the expired list if you're sure that there is no opportunity for renewal. Otherwise, you will want to identify why the policy was not renewed in Easy Links, and then take the appropriate steps to follow up with the carrier or the customer. Ideally, you'll want to make sure your customer does not end up on the expired list, so try your best to keep it as empty as possible. That is all for this lesson, you learned about the two-step process to work your renewals and retention center. First by analyzing the renewal offer and then communicating this info to the customer. Utilizing this process will enable you to stay on top of your customer renewals and win back the most business possible. Thanks for watching.